first thing we have to talk about is some unfortunate news that I'm going to be optimistic and say can eventually become good. Maybe. Who knows? Scott Hall is currently fighting for his life. So we learned about a week, week and a half ago that Scott Hall broke his hip and had to have hip replacement surgery. And you think, okay, I know a lot of people that had hip replacement surgery. All good. But he had complications in that surgery with a loose blood clot, left him uh, hospitalized. And you go, "Uh uh-oh, that's not good. Then, Sunday morning, Wade Keller of PW Torch tweets out, or puts up on their website, unfortunately, Scott Hall had to be put on life support. As Saturday night, he suffered three heart attacks. And you go, "Oh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, what? Huh? No way. So all day yesterday, we get all the people, you know, prayers for Scott Hall and his family. Hopefully Scott Hall can make it through this. Hopefully Scott Hall can kick out and this and that. And we got the biggest real update, I guess you could say, 11 hours ago from one of Scott's closest friends ever. And that's, well, big sexy Kevin Nash. As Kevin Nash posted the following on Instagram. Scott's on life support. Once his family is in place, they will discontinue life support. I'm going to lose the person on this planet I've spent more of my life with than anyone else. My heart is broken, and I'm so very, uh, so very fucking sad. I love Scott with all my heart, my all my heart. But now, I have to prepare my life without him in the present. I've been blessed to have a friend that took me at face value, and I have him. When we jumped to WCW, we didn't care who liked or hated us. We had each other, and with that, and with the smooth Barry Bloom, we changed wrestling both in content and pay for those. A lot that disliked us. We were the outsiders, but we had each other. Scott always felt he wasn't worthy of the afterlife. Well, God Please have some gold-plated toothpicks for my brother. My life was enriched with his take on life. He wasn't perfect, but as he always said, quote, the last perfect person to walk the planet, they nailed to a cross. As we prepare for life without him, just remember, there goes a great guy. You ain't going to see another one like him again. See you down the road, Scott. I couldn't love a human being any more than I do you. Scott Hall, uh, Scott Hall again, like we said, is on life support. Kevin Nash did post this last night, and a lot of different wrestlers, I guess you're saying, commented on Scott uh, Kevin Nash's post as well. We got Matt Cardona saying, fuck, he changed my life. This is horrible. Tori Wilson would comment saying, OMG, Kevin, this is heartbreaking. Sending you a big old hug and about to pray to God for those golden toothpicks and his worthy acceptance into the golden gates. Hope you are hanging in there. Other wrestlers like Ivar sent just a heart emoji. Same with Natalia, Candice Michelle, and others. And yeah, it's very, very sad that it looks like Scott Hall's days on this planet may be numbered. And I did want to pull in some other tweets and stuff from different wrestlers and whatnot in the industry. I'm actually going to pull these ones up on screen. They're just easier to see than the Instagram post. But we have Paige Soraya. She says, the world loves you, Scott. Hero to many, including myself. We got Malcolm Bivens here. says, Scott Hall strutting to the fuges is one of the craziest and greatest entrances of all time. I hope I said that word right, fuges. Uh, Jordan Grace says, there will literally never be another wrestler as cool as Scott Hall. Luke Hawks, I'm not going to read all this, but Luke Hawks, I would say go read this. What Luke Hawks posted was really great. He says, my relationship with Scott Hall, for those that care to read, Maybe a different story than you're used to reading or hearing. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. But it was, uh, I could write a novel on my relationship with Scott. We have, we all have our stories, but I'll tell a short, simple one on the first time we met. It was 2006, 2007 in Evansville, Indiana. We were booked for the Insane Clown Posse, JCW. Scott Hall and I clicked right away for some reason. Our first day, he asked me to come to dinner with him, and we went to a restaurant that was above my means at the time. I knew that 
eating that meal would cost a good chunk of my pay, and I still had two more days there, so I would be losing money on this trip. I didn't say anything, but yes, because I knew it was a good opportunity to pick Scott's brain on wrestling and learn something. At the end of the meal, when the check came, Scott picked up the bill, and I felt a little awkward because I wasn't used to someone paying for things like that for me. Scott not only bought me dinner that evening, but he stuck with me the whole weekend, and we paid for and he paid for every single thing we did. I felt terrible because I felt like I couldn't return the gesture and I didn't understand why he was being so nice to me, talking to, and dropping so much knowledge on me, spending a good amount of money on me, spending time with me, and just going out of his way to build me up and better myself. Mark Merrow tweeted out, My thoughts and prayers are for Scott Hall, who was on life support at Wellstar Ken Stone Hospital in Marietta, Georgia. We spent many years in WCW and WWE together. Some great memories. He recently had hip surgery, but the serious complications which led to three heart attacks. Captain Sean Dean, Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall, the first guy I viewed in wrestling as cool. For the amount of times I got in trouble from a crotch chop was about as equal to me throwing toothpicks at people. Heels today owe him because he truly made it cool to be, quote, the bad guy. Stu Bennett, Wade Barrett, also tweeted out, there's nobody cooler than the bad guy. I was a huge fan of Razor Ramon as a kid, and then became an even bigger fan after spending a little time around Scott Hall, the person. What a man. And then we have a couple things here from Sean Waltman. He's posted out some pictures. We've got this one of him and Hall with Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura. This one, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Mickey Ward, not, I've heard the name, but not sure exactly who he is. This is Scott and I and Lowell with the legend Mickey Ward. Oh, wait, Mickey Ward from the um the Mark, uh, the Mark Wahlberg movie. That's right, that's right, that's right. Now I remember. As soon as I read it, it said Lowell. And then finally, there's one of the two of them backstage with um, Asuka. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. so, this is very, very, very sad, very unfortunate. Man, that you can tell is loved by so many people in the world of professional wrestling. And here's to hoping that maybe they, they take him off life support and he kicks out. The way Kevin Nash was talking doesn't sound like, you know, it's going to happen. But we can always pray for the best. We can always pray for, you know, him to make it. We will keep you guys updated if we do hear anything further on the bad guy, Scott Hall.